I don't even know if I need this today because it looks pretty warm outside for winter. But we'll give it a try. So typically my morning routine would revolve around my plants, but in the morning now, my routine is primarily about birds. And I just got a new foster hen named Leche, and she was living with me for a little while, but then I introduced her to the birds at Los Sures, which is a senior housing center here in Brooklyn. And she really took to them. She really took to the place. So she doesn't sleep in my house anymore. This is the second night at the coop, so I'm going to go check on her. And this is my daily routine. And I make a little L over towards Los Sures from where I live. And, uh, and the birds know me along this whole path because I bring um, a few mason jars of bird seed. And I like to feed the uh, pigeons along the way. And I have one favorite pigeon who we might see this morning to be continued. I don't know if she's gonna be here. She usually shows up um, in the afternoon when I do a little lunch run to go see the birds. Her name is Khaki. I like her a lot. <laughs> Khaki the pigeon. So this is the good stuff. <laughs> Fruit and nut blend, only the best for the birds. We'll see if they're on the, uh, the roof. Sometimes they wake up so early that they're not even there and I have to come see them on the way back from the coop. But I see one on lookout there at the corner. Hey guys. Hello. Hello, come on. You know the corner. Hello, where's your friends? Hi guys. Hello, 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 hello. Come, 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 come. I've gotten pooped on twice. <laughs> come on. This is not all of them, so I'll have to save some when I come back. Khaki usually shows up on that, on that run. be interesting okay so let's get some chicken food oh I could take this off you might be wondering there's a lot of produce out here so they serve as a food pantry here as well and since it's chilly out, this could be like refrigerate, <laughs> refrigerated. All right. This is, truth to be told, this is the second night that Leche is spending in the coop. Ooh, a water. Hello, girl. Hi. I see two white chickens. Yeah. Leche, how you doing? Hi, Heidi. Hello! Hello! Hi! Good girl! Oh, just tell the world how you really feel. Come, come. Look at what I got you. Come. Yummels. Good 
girls. Good girls. Yeah, some queens. Get some queens. Hey, baby. Oh, baby. Mm. I missed you, baby. Yeah, I missed you. Einstein. Come here, Annie. I want to save this for Einstein because she is a little hungrier as of late and she's a little scared right now. seeds and a little on the expensive side but they really like them and they have I was looking for different alternatives for calcium and protein and sesame seeds seem to have a really nice balance of them both and I really wanted to build up their calcium because sometimes their eggs were getting a little too thin shelled and they don't like the oyster shells at all um, and the sesame seeds work out really well so I try to get them in, in, in as much bulk as possible Girl, Lincoln really likes to move in on whatever V is eating. Yeah? Yeah. Good girl. And then I think uh, Cappuccino might be going through a molt again because you see like she's losing some of her feathers here. Hi, Jay. I'm so proud of you. You're so good. Oh. Leche knows her place. Hey, Vivi. Leche won't eat until Vivi says it's okay. Oh, I wonder if there's a hawk around. Stockbirds usually say if there's a hawk around. Hey, Leche. One thing that people don't really like to do it's cleaning up chicken poop and chickens poop a lot I mean a lot so that is uh, the one thing that I, th I don't think people think about when they have to deal with uh, animals and they're always like oh I think it's so amazing to have chickens and then very few people actually spend the time to actually properly clean them up so that's what I do I do it on a daily basis 
Now, some folks do like a deep litter method where they just let the poop sit all winter and then they just keep on building up like pine shavings or whatever they're using um, on the bottom. And we don't really do that here because we're not buying that much pine shavings and everything along those lines. It's usually easier on people uh, and allows some heat in the coop, but I'd rather it be clean. And for the base of this, we're actually using Sani Care, so it kind of cleans up like kitty litter, which is really great. And then we just compost it afterwards, which is also nice because it then eventually becomes soil here and we can use it in the garden. But I don't find the cleaning of the poop to be, you know, too crazy of a job, especially if you do a little every day. It takes you about five minutes, so it's not that big of a deal. I just don't think people could wrap their head around cleaning up something else's poop. <laughs> yeah, and you know, sometimes chicken shit will smell a little bit, but they, um, you know, when you clean it up every day, it's not that, it's not that bad. And uh, the coop here actually smells quite nice. Enough that I've even brought a chair in here and I just like to sit in here with them. They're a little spooked today because the camera spooked them out, but they're usually just right around my feet while I'm cleaning up and taking care of them. I think you're good girls. There's, I don't think there's any more hawks around. It's gonna be a nice day. You're gonna get a lot of sun here. Leche, I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you too. Einstein just got a hormone, so it stopped her from laying because she was laying two eggs a day, unbelievably, which is really uncommon. And we're not quite sure why, but uh, yeah, she would lay like a hard egg and then she would lay a soft egg right after that. So good girls, good girls. All right, we'll head back and we'll go the same route and then we'll see if we could see khaki this time. Bye ladies, I'll check on you later. Sometimes I feed the pigeons here. The white one usually comes down first. Oh, yep, there she is. They know, they know who feeds them. See the white ones or the speckled white ones? There's like two that look alike. They have a nice uh, coloration here. What I found is that pigeons kind of stay to their territory. So you have basically different and unique pigeons on every block. We're gonna be approaching the pigeon corner over here, but I don't see them. So they might have already moved on. They thought like, oh, she was already here with food. Time to move on. But what's interesting is that the pigeons kind of patrol the same corners. So they're pretty territorial. And as you saw in the morning, they recognize you. They recognize the cues, they recognize your face. Like pigeons and chickens both, they could remember, I think over a hundred faces. So, you know, sometimes they come to my window in my apartment and they look in at me and they make me feel guilty because I know they recognize me and they know I feed them. <laughs> so I feel a little bad. All right, let's see. Yeah, I don't see them. Sometimes I get lucky and then khaki's down on another block. But sometimes I wake up too early She's not there. And then I do a run in the afternoon to go check on the chickens, make sure there's no hawks patrolling or scaring them. And then uh, I feed them then too. So they get two to three times fed today. So do the chickens. So I have a soft spot in my heart for birds, but I gotta get on with the rest of my morning.
get really beat up when I'm in the coop, especially on cold days. I usually don't wear gloves. I should have worn gloves today. just cut back all my begonias so some of them are just starting to come back. They got pretty lanky so it's always good to start fresh. I cut back part of this begonia too so you could see some of the new growth but then I left some of the old growth. You can see it's growing under my sink but I don't think that looks as good so I might have to cut that back. But it's nice, look at all the fresh growth. Looks much nicer. Colin Coey from her head. So I have it right here. I have to repot that. I might actually put a different plant in here. And then you could see that this was ripped apart by some house mice. So I thought I got them under control, but unfortunately they're back at it. So <clears throat> I'm hoping that this will come back, but we'll see. ceremoniously broke because my chicken bit it and I had to cut it back so it has a few nodes on it obviously so we'll see if it uh, roots up this was the tip of the plant and it was a really good bloomer so that was really unfortunate but we'll see what we could do there Thank you. 
have a little bit of a mealy bug issue here on this Hoya. I have to get on top of that. It's not a plant I'd like to throw away. It's growing like wild too. Do you see? See a little mealy bug right there. It probably was from my pothos that had a mealy bug issue, but your guess is as good as mine. I really like to hide out on the plant. This begonia is starting to bloom. See a little bloom right there. Right here. Little white flowers just come up right there. 